So today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about 90 Day Fiance Rumors. Paul and Karini fake divorce plus Angela Dean threatened fans. Hey guys, now if you watch 90 Day Fiance, we all know this show is about a group of people that just use each other. They don't love each other. They just want green cars. I mean, it is what it is, right? I mean, and I like it that way. I don't want to watch a reality show about people that really love each other. Who has time for that? Boring. No, I like the scammers. So, but... With that being said, you can't get caught scamming, okay? You gotta pretend like this is real and you can't let the public catch on that, you know, you're just using each other. And if you do get caught, well, you're gonna get called out. Well, guess who I gotta call out today? That would be Angela, Dina, and Michael, and then Paul and Karini. Let's start with my favorite. That would be Angela. Now, before I get into talking about Angela, I gotta address the elephant in the room. And that's Angela's looks, okay, people? She looks a hundred times better since she got Botox. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, she went from alligator skin to maybe a rhinoceros. It's not perfect, but it's much, much better. And I just think it looks so much better. That's just my opinion, you know. But you know, I'm the one to always say what other people are thinking. I don't know why I have to always say it, but you know, it looks better. So congratulations on the way you look, Angela, from getting Botox. But you know, it still didn't stop your situation. Okay, so. The rumor is that Michael is going to get denied a visa into the U.S., okay? And, you know, a lot of people are happy about it. Now, really? I mean, that's kind of mean. People took to the Internet. They were talking about the rumors that he's going to get denied, and they think it's a good thing. <laughs> And when they, when I say people were speaking their mind, they were getting in depth. People were saying that there's other ways to meet Donald Trump because we know that's the only reason Michael wants to come to the U.S. is because of Donald Trump, his idol. He doesn't give a damn about Angela, but people were like, there has to be another way to do it besides getting hooked up into that family. People were saying that her daughter, Scotty, uh, it was in prison for. Uh, I, I, I got to say the correct word where I don't get my video banned. Um, child abuse, okay? Physical child abuse, put it that way, okay? Uh, she's in there for uh, making out with children, okay? And she got convicted, a 20-year sentence. But the 20-year sentence was two years in physical prison and then the rest on probation. She's got to come home, people. She's got to come home. And people are saying, M w Michael, that's a lot to deal with. We saw in the episode where she had all kinds of children running around the house. Okay, she's got that. Then she's got, they, she, they got Scotty moving back into the house and then, you know, taking care of grandma. Okay, I mean, people really were concerned and I am too, you know, just a little bit. I mean, I think he's playing by the gold digging women rule, which is go and try to get knocked up because he wants Angela to have a baby. He thinks that'll keep him in the country longer. I don't think you have to do all that. But anyway, when Angela got wind that people were talking about her daughter and her family, she got really upset and she took to the internet. And this is what she had to say. She said, I see some people talking bad about me and my daughter. You know nothing and you don't deserve any explanation. I don't take nonsense. I and Michael only need positive vibes, not negativity. If you at us saying bad things blocked. Okay, she missed a couple words there. Let's love, lead, love y'all. Okay, now, yeah, I, I got all that, you know, uh, lo let love lead the way. I mean, if we were talking about real love here, but we're really not. You know, no offense. You, listen, my, Angela, he's using you for a green card, but he doesn't have to do all that. There's other ways to meet Donald Trump, and I kind of agree with the public. Is that bad? Next, there's Paul and Karini. People are screaming fake storyline with these two, but it's in the opposite way. Usually people say fake storyline like these two really aren't together and they're just faking for the cameras. Well, Paul and Karini have a twist on it. People are saying they're faking their divorce. Okay, so when we all last checked on Paul, he was screaming that Karini had left him and that he had to get an attorney because she was filing for a divorce and that, you know, he was really upset. And then all of a sudden, a couple of days ago, these pictures appear on his mother's social media of them being a happy family, okay? Not being in Brazil, looks like they're in the US and looks like they're having the time of their life. You know, Santa's all in the middle and everything. So people are saying, listen, this is a fake storyline, people. Paul and Karini really are together. 
They're pretending to be going through a divorce in hopes of getting picked up for another season. People are saying that Paul really needs the money, that 90 Day Fiance is his only job. And so he's going to do what he has to do to get another season. And so people are screaming fake storyline. What do I think about it? Hmm. I'm thinking fake storyline too. We all know Paul has a trouble getting a real job. You know, shit shoveling isn't paying the rent these days and he gets paid way more when he works for 90 Day Fiance. And I agree. I think that this is my personal opinion that Karini wants this green card bad and she's not going to put that in jeopardy. She already has a son with him. Why try to start all over with someone else? I'm thinking people, yeah, I agree with the public. This is a fake storyline, but I don't care, by the way. You know, I don't care if the storylines are real or fake. I just like being entertained. I'm not like other people. Some people are like, it has to be real. Not with me. I don't give a damn. You know, if Paul wants to pretend like, you know, he's going through a divorce as long as I'm entertained and I don't find out the truth, then I really don't care. Not only that, I'm hoping some people from this season of 90 Day Fiance catch on and start faking their storylines. Because this season, well, I just have to be honest, snoozer. I mean, please, can we beef it up some people? Okay, you guys, that's all the 90 Day Fiance news I have for you today. So what I want to know today in my comment section is, number one, who thinks Michael will be making the biggest mistake of his life by marrying into the Dean family? And number two, who thinks Paul is faking a storyline? Also, if you like this video, please don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.